Hello to all the chess fans. In today's video I'd like to uh, discuss the blog that I had created. The purpose of this, this website, this blog, is to um, give uh, chess players an opportunity to, to practice their tactical skills on a daily basis because that's what I found was very helpful for myself and that's what I think is very important to stay in good chess shape to maintain your ability to solve uh, um, different tactics and combinations in your games. So what this this blog does is every day there's a new new post with a new new puzzle and the, the puzzles are taken from the Grandmaster games and from the, the Master games the average rating of the of the players in these games is usually around 24, 2500. So they're pretty um, high level games and um, these puzzles can be solved in the in the browser. So for example we're going to look at this position here it's um, this was posted this Tuesday uh, on July 19th and here it's black to move as indicated in notation you don't see the solution until you click on the question mark so you can think a little bit uh, decide what the best move is so this is a very sharp position here white's putting pressure along the age file At the same time black is putting some pressure against the white king um, upon thinking about this uh, a little bit we can see that this queen is a little bit um, in danger because uh, it's attacked by the pawn the rook is is pinning the pawn so um, we can also see the, that white's back rank uh, is a little bit weak so the typical pattern here is that black sacrifices the rook on f1 and if if white takes, which he kind of has to, then we'll take the queen and we'll be up, we'll be up a queen. So now, if I want to check whether my idea is correct, I just click on this, and indeed, I can see how the game ended in the viewer. So white has surrendered the queen, and he tries to get uh, some material back, but there's no checkmate, and the black king escapes. Uh, and of course black wins. So this is how these puzzles can be solved. There is an archive of puzzles and basically it goes back um, many many months into 2015. Um, so each month there's about 30 puzzles. Uh, you can click on each one and solve it here. Um, the way to kind of build a habit to solve these puzzles is to subscribe to this in one way or another. So you could type in your email here and hit submit and the emails will be coming in um, into your inbox. Um, you could also subscribe to the feed if this is what you're more comfortable with. Um, I use RSS a lot and here are the, the feed URL. You can, you can put this into your favorite uh, RSS viewer and um, here there's a bit more room for how you want to use these. Mm, you can mark them a certain way. Um, if you fail to solve a puzzle, for example, you can tag it depending on the RSS viewer. You can tag it as unsolved and uh, next time you can go through all the puzzles that, that you failed to solve and so on. If you prefer to solve these on a go and um, um, don't have internet access if you prefer to access to read them offline or in some other way they can also be downloaded as an ebook from Amazon which costs a little bit but uh, that's that um, so anyway I'd be curious to hear if this is useful if anybody's interested in uh, different types of puzzles uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve this setup. Thanks.